everyone, Zeddy here again today with a brand new video. Yesterday, we did our standard July tier list, and today, we are going to do the wild, wild, why do I keep saying that? The wild tier list, not the wild standard tier list. That doesn't make any sense. Anyways, I'm psyched. Let's go. We're going to go through tier one, tier two, tier three of the best decks in wild that are performing on ladder. And this is just my opinion. There's no data that I'm basing it on. This is purely speculative Zeddy opinion, the finest. And, you know, if you agree with it, you disagree, you can always let me know in the comments. So let's get going. Again, we're going to start with tier one, like we did on the standard video. And the top deck in wild, still the same as last month. I'm pretty sure I put this top, is Pyro Warrior. Pyro Warrior beats up on so many decks. Ankar getting it with cash is ridiculous. You can infinitely draw basically your deck while going face, while having synergy with everything going on. It's just performed insanely well at all levels. And you can even tech in like Wrench Caliber if you're facing a lot of Highlander decks to try and shut their Highlander stuff off. So it does very well against everything. If it high rolls, it's pretty hard to beat the, the Parachute Brigand stuff that you can do in the early game. It just, it's still the top deck that just hasn't changed. And number two also hasn't changed. And it's actually got stronger since the last tier list I did. And that's Odd Demon Hunter. Since the last tier list, Twin Slice has been bumped up to one mana, so you can put it into your Odd Demon Hunter deck. And, I mean, I took it on a free-to-play account in 12 hours to Top 10 Legend. My friend Ghost Dog took it on a free-to-play account. And I think in like 20 to 24 hours, because he did the Apprentice ranks, he took it to Rank 1 Legend on Asia and finished Rank 1 Le Legend Asia. With Odd Demon Hunter. The deck is ridiculous. But it does lose to the Reno decks to an extent. You do run out of cards. So if they can deal with your early game. You run out of cards. You can lose to that Reno swing. It's literally the only reason I'm putting it below Pirate Warrior. Because Pirate Warrior a lot of times just doesn't run out of steam ever. But Odd Demon Hunter can. But Odd Demon Hunter is a better early game and more burst. So it's kind of a toss up. I'm still putting Pirate Warrior above it. But they're the top two decks and nothing even comes close to that. But the last tier one deck I'm going to put on there, because if we do th three tier one decks, is Quest Mage. Quest Mage has been way back on ladder again. It can still high roll the aggro decks, as I mentioned, but it beats basically everything else on ladder. It beats on the Reno Priest. It beats on, like, Pocket Galaxy Mage. It beats up on all the, like, you're playing Druid, all that stuff. It just beats the crap out of it. It's still what warps the meta so much. It's why you see so much Pyre Warrior. Why you see so much Odd Demon Hunters. Because Quest Mage is just ridiculous. It beats every slower deck, every mid-range deck on the ladder. And, you know, it just warps the meta to be that aggressive. So, still the top tier 1 deck for me. And, yeah. It wasn't last month. It is this month just because I've seen it pick up so much. But, it kind of switched spots with our first tier 2 deck, which is Reno Priest. Still very popular, still very good. It it can beat the top two decks that are tier one, but it can also very easily lose to them because while well, the early game starts from Demon Hunter and Pirate Warrior, it can be so explosive that you can't even answer it. And if you do, you're just dead to their board anyways when you play Reno. So Reno Priest has done very well. People have had insanely good results with it. It's a very powerful deck. Your Raza, your Anduin, you can beat up almost any deck out there with that combo. Even if they have like 100 armor, you can get through it. Maybe not 2500 armor though, huh? But yeah, deck's very good, very strong. And there's even like a variant now that's popped up. Ben from work at least showed it to me. That has like Togwoggle in it and Murazon that's done pretty well. It's more combo driven. It's got Hemet. A lot of stuff you can do with it. Very good deck. I'm just not quite comfortable saying it's tier 1 at the moment. Uh, next is another aggressive deck. Again, this meta is aggressive. you got to beat up on Quest Mage if you want a shot. And that's Discard Warlock. I've seen a lot of this on ladder lately. This deck can just high roll so ridiculously with your discard. Like, you 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 draw three with the... You discard with Expire Merchant. With, was it, I don't even know what it's called. The, the three mana, the six mana spell. And you can draw your entire deck by, like, turn four or five. While also cheating out, like, Silverware Golems buffing your... Your discard guy, the, the tiny knight of evil, buffing him out of control. You can get Fist of Draxus smorking. You can do so many ridiculous things, and the, it just never runs out of cards. You you cheat out so much stuff, and it's just hard to deal with that ridiculous swarm. Um, it just 
doesn't kind of beat the early game consistently of like Pirate Warrior Demon Hunter, so it kind of falls off for that. But very powerful deck. A lot of people have done very well with it. And yeah, if you want to discard and go smork and draw like your entire deck, you can't really go wrong with Discard Warlock. Last on the list is Luna's Pocket Galaxy rounding out Tier 2. Um, Luna's Pocket Galaxy Mage, Reno Mage in particular. Um, it's not doesn't run the quest and all that. And like Frobro has been killing it with the deck. He's like top 10 legend on NA and EU. I think he just had success with it. It's just... Very powerful deck. It seems to be getting better and better as people get better with it, refine the list further. And yeah, you lock out your opponents. Like, you play Pocket Galaxy and you lock out your opponents with Bran, Lothep, all of that. They can't interact. You can just Dragon Queen, do stupid stuff. And against the aggro, of course, you have Zephyrus. You have, like, Volcanic Potion, Reno, all that stuff. So you can definitely compete with aggro. This deck can literally beat anything. The only issue is its consistency. It's a Highlander deck. You only have so many answers, so... The consistency of the deck, for me, is what keeps it from being, like, a higher tier 2, a higher tier 1 deck. But I don't think we'd really want this deck to be a consistent nightmare, because... Not a heck of a lot of fun to deal with one mana cards and ridiculous RNG that comes from a lot of stuff like the Prime and Dragon Queen, but... Very powerful deck, extremely fun to play. I love playing this one, it's just the inconsistency can be quite frustrating. Last, we're going on to the tier 3 list, and I'm putting it out there. I don't care. I know it's pretty early, but I'm putting Linecracker Druid on the list. I had Togwoggle Druid last month. I think Linecracker is better. It's more consistent. You don't have to... Once you play your combo, you win, whereas with Togwoggle Druid, you still have to deal with whatever's on the board and all of that. And Jade Druid still sucks. I'm not going to change my mind on that. Big Green Men suck, and that's why you don't see it on Ladder. But Linecracker, I've done very well with the deck. Um, the only issue with it is if it's really good, it's super easy to counter. You just start playing Skulking Geist or Plate Breaker or stuff like that, and then you lose. Um, it does very well against aggro. You have all the armor, all Spreading Plague, all of that. Struggles against, like, Quest Mage mainly. Um, you auto-lose to Mechathune as well. But Mechathune has really fallen off. It's not even on my tier list this week, this month, because people just aren't playing it that much. Um... Yeah, it's got a decent spread. And honestly, if it continues to perform the way it is for me and some other people, it might move up to tier 2. So, you want to gain 2,500 armor and frustrate the hell out of your opponent? Give this deck a whirl. It's it's a blast. If you're a bit, little bit of a masochist like me. Uh, next, I'm going to put Secret Mage on the list. I always see a lot of Secret Mage. Nothing's changed with it. It still can beat up on, uh, like, Quest Mage. It still does pretty well against, like, ODH because, like, you have Ward, you have... The two drop that does like the AoE effect, it can just clean up against it. Uh, it can just beat everything, easy to play, consistent performer. I see it here and there. It's not very exciting or sexy an option, but hey, Secret Mage, I, I gotta put it on there. It always does very well. And lastly, on the list, another popular mage deck. This is what, the fourth mage deck? Yeah, mage is really good and wild, is Reno Quest Mage. So it's not like regular Quest Mage. You got your quests, you got Reno, all that stuff. You wor worry more about getting to your quest completion and playing Vargoth, Alexstrasza, Dragon Queen, all of that. Very popular deck. It's a lot easier to play than regular quest mage. And it can do a bit better against aggro than regular quest mage. But it's an average matchup spread against everything else is a lot worse. Like you lose to Linecracker Druid. You lose to Mechathune more often. You lose to just a lot of other, the more mid-range, slower stuff a lot more often. So, it just doesn't have that explosiveness that, like, Sorcerer's Apprentice and Flame Waker gives you. It's a very good deck. Legend capable. Probably can even get high Legend with it. I just don't think it's quite the Tier 1, Tier 2 deck it used to be. So, that's the list. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you disagree, you agree, let me know in the comments below. Always fun to have that debate. Um, and if you like the video, you like the tier list as well. Let me know, like the video, subscribe. We keep on growing like crazy. So thank you guys for that. Have a great day. Stay salty, my friends. <laughs>